When we all make small changes to our water use, we can make big waves in protecting our precious water supply. We call this the ripple effect. But did you know there are many types of people that look after our water supply? In fact, there are over 3,000 people who work at Northumberland Water and over 800 types of jobs. I'm Sarah and I work in water efficiency where my role is to encourage everyone to protect our precious water supply. It's a huge group effort with many different skills involving engineering, science, computing and business. Here are just a few of them. Hi, I'm Tom and I'm a Catron advisor. My job is to check the water quality at source and work with farmers and landowners to find ways of reducing diffuse water pollution before it gets to our water treatment works. My job involves regularly sampling rivers and streams to identify water quality problems and where they are coming from, and we're even looking at using drones to quickly survey large areas. I will then work with farmers, landowners, businesses and communities to raise awareness, identify risks and provide support on anything they may do that impacts water quality, ranging from fertiliser use to management of animal waste. This all helps reduce the risk of pollution in untreated water while also benefiting the natural environment. Hi, my name's Steve and I work on the Water Sewer Network. It is my job to maintain the drainage system to make sure that all of the untreated waste water makes it to our treatment works. If there are any blockages, we remove them so as to get the system flowing again. We also carry out camera surveys to find any issues with the sewer so that they can be repaired. Hi, my name's Diamond. I'm a lab manager. My job in the lab is to check the quality of the raw untreated water that feeds into our water treatment works, as well as checking the final water after it has been treated. We collect samples from various points around the whole distribution network, including your drinking water tap. In my lab alone, we do 56,000 tests per year. It's a complex process which takes time to make sure we have enough clean water to supply everyone, which is why it's so important you do your bit as a water tracker to help protect our precious water cycle. Hi, my name's Katie and I'm a water supply manager. I'm responsible for everything in the water treatment works, including the treatment equipment and the people that work there, making sure we have the right amount of clean water. I oversee a team who are in charge of taking raw water from rivers and reservoirs and passing it through several treatment stages which clean the water to a higher and higher standard until it is safe to drink and use. Oh, hi Katie. Safe to drink you say? Sure, we can help with that in the lab. We actually do a wide range of different chemical tests for things that shouldn't be in clean water like pesticides and chemicals as well as a process called microbiological testing that helps us to make sure there are no harmful bacteria or germs present either. We even have a dedicated room just to drink treated water to make sure the water tastes and smells great. Hey Katie. Brilliant, thanks dear Anne. So, once we're all sure the water is ready, we then pump it into large pipes which feed the distribution network and carry the water into your home. It's a fun but challenging job. Sometimes it can be tricky to supply enough water for everyone, especially in summer for example, when people tend to use a lot more water and sometimes there can be unpredictable increases in demand. You can help me by using your water tracker training to help reduce the amount of fresh water you use. Hi, I'm Denise. My job is to provide an emergency service 24 hours a day on the telephone every day and all year for customers who have problems with their water and sewage. I offer support and advice to help our customers help themselves and if that doesn't work then I make sure we send one of our technicians to help. Hi hey again, remember me? If Denise finds out about a problem in the sewer system she might call on me to help. Lots of the troubles we have come from people who flush wet wipes down the toilet blocking the pipes. My team is working with the communities in the worst affected areas to explain what damage they cause. For example, flowing to gardens or homes. We want to keep the pipes clear and untreated water flowing to the sewage treatment works. Back to you, Denise. Thanks, Steve. So, 
You won't be surprised to hear that for my role in the water treatment process, it's important to be a good listener and quick thinker so that I can figure out the best way to help people depending on their situation. Water is precious, so we need to make sure people have access to what they need and we can solve any problems they may have as quickly as we can. Problems like leaky toilets, which we will fix for free, can waste a lot of water if left alone. So catching these issues straight away is an important way we can help save water and ensure there is enough to go around. From problem solvers, designers, planners, leaders, fixers, carers, inventors and listeners. It takes lots of types of people with lots of different skills to make sure we have enough clean water to supply to everyone. Which is why we all need to do our bit only to use what we really need. When we all make small changes to our water use, we can make big waves in protecting our supply. Make sure you're doing your bit to save water and be part of the ripple effect.